bed, don't be shy Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas The trailer park way With a brand new recipe Every day Sending videos from her trailer She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2019, where I'm showing you how the Trailer Park celebrates a holiday. Well, this certainly is a tradition to uh, all of y'all out there, and I've been doing it for many years. I've got a calendar that many of y'all are following along on, and some of you have printed it out. I know Inkjet has um, cartridges uh, cost a fortune, but I printed it out real big here. And I see today that it's another cookie recipe. Now, I'm always needing cookies on the couch, in the bed. I just need them all over the place. Um, actually, a balanced diet is a cookie in each hand. No, it isn't. Don't, don't tell my doctor that I told you that yet. Um, don't take tips like they get from someone here on um, the interwebs. But today is actually a really delicate, cute cookie that people will be like, how did you do that yet? You're like one of those mall kiosk um, kind of store people. I don't know. Uh, but it's a sugar pretzel and it's so cute. It's a sweet cookie that sparkles and it's just great. You can even make a little ornament out of it and I don't know how long it would stay on the tree because I would just eat it right off the tree kind of like bobbing for apples. But, but anyway, we're going to be making a great sugar pretzel cookie up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2019. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my sugar pretzels is really simple and I've got a stand mixer here and we're doing it up close because a lot of people ask to see things up close and this is the best I can do in my little trailer here and um, I got a new kitten so if I my hands don't look like the normal hand model that I, I've, I've got them shredded because of him but I, I've got a softened stick of butter here and I'm going to put it in the stand mixer just like this. And I've got one fourth cup of just granulated sugar here. And we're going to put this in the mixer together. And we're going to cream it. And it's going to be about two to three minutes. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Next up, I'm going to add one egg white. And if you're confident, you can just do one and one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract right on in there and just mix that just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna add one and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour to it very slowly until a dough forms and we don't wanna overbeat it. So let me go ahead and start this and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we are back and look at that. We have a dough here in our bowl and I've got some plastic wrap here plopping it right on into the plastic wrap like this and I'm gonna wrap it up and I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for about an hour or two and it's gonna firm up and then we're gonna start being like fancy kiosk pretzel people and we're gonna be making the sugar pretzels so I'll check back with you in just a moment Okay, we are back, and look at that. We have a dough here in our bowl, and I've got some plastic wrap here, plopping it right on into the plastic wrap like this, and I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for about an hour or two, and it's gonna firm up, and then we're gonna start being like fancy kiosk pretzel people, and we're gonna be making the sugar pretzels, so I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I have floured my countertop here and we've got our dough and we are going to work with it now that it has firmed up and we need about uh, three tablespoons of it. Uh, so let's just kind of gauge that um, 
that looks about right. And what we're going to do is maybe a little bit more. There we go. We're going to make about a nine inch rope out of this on the flowered uh, countertop. So we're just going to work with that and make that about nine inches. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we have about a rope here and we're going to loop those around just like that and then print well I guess I'm not going to get a job at the pretzel kiosk anytime soon but you know you're going to fail at things um, sometimes in the kitchen and that's okay uh, because you can keep trying at it um, maybe the dough needs to be firmed up a little bit more you always have to take a look to see what could be going wrong um, with things. Things might not work out around the holidays. Everyone has a lot of stress. Um, and recipes might have a lot of stress too. So I'm going to work with the yes. And I'm going to try to make the best pretzels ever. So I'm going to be working with this. And I'll check back with you in a moment. Because I know that I can do this. And I'll be back with you in just a moment. And there you have it. I did it. Well, they may not be the perfect pretzels, and I may not get a job anytime soon as a fancy pretzel kiosk person, but look at that. That one might be a tooth, and that one might be my initials, and that might be a squid up there, but these are going to bake up, and we might start a whole new holiday uh, tradition with a sugar tooth or, uh, or something like that up on the tree. But we're going to put some plastic wrap on this and put them in the fridge to firm up for about 45 minutes before we put them in the oven. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, our sugar pretzels have rested in the fridge and I've got some more egg white here and I'm just going to coat them with a pastry brush here and I know this is fancy. But what you're going to do now is you're going to choose your favorite uh, sugar that has some sparkles in it. And look at that. We're just going to fill that in like that. And I probably shouldn't have went all that way on my baking sheet like that because that's probably going to cause a mess or maybe some stained glass. Who knows? I'll probably be uh, cleaning up in the kitchen for a while. Look at that right there on that sugar tooth I guess that's what that is and I'm gonna finish these and I'll check back with you in just a moment okay I have preheated the oven to 375 degrees we're gonna bake these until they're slightly firm to the touch that's gonna take about 12 minutes you don't want to over bake them so keep an eye on them and wow this kind of looks like Mardi Gras but Merry Trailer Park Christmas set your timer Thanks for tuning in today. Wow, that was both a craft and a recipe that you can eat. And they were so pretty, the sugar pretzels. And I, I just think that this is a great craft that you can do maybe about a week before um, actually Christmas Eve and you can hang them on the tree and maybe create a tradition in your family. What kind of traditions that you do in your family? Maybe an ornament that you uh, carry on each year that must be on the tree? Leave a comment down at the bottom. I've got a video every day until December 25th. You can follow along on a free calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com. I see tomorrow that there's an easy soup recipe. We all need easy recipes, especially when we're running around crazy with the holidays. And this one's going to definitely solve that problem. So you're definitely going to want to turn in uh, to see that one. And uh, but this is a great recipe. If you make my sugar pretzels, send me a picture, especially with one on your tree, at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'm on Facebook, and of course, download the free calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com. I love spending the holidays with you. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. I'll see you soon. Actually, tomorrow. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that.